What is going on, everyone? We are back in Trey Cash's career in Madden 17. It is week 16. The Jets are 8-6 on the season, and today is the most important game of the season. We're taking on the 12-1-1 Patriots, and this is a game to fight for our playoff lives. The Patriots have clinched the division. The Titans have clinched the division. The Chargers and Bengals lead their divisions. And then there's the Chiefs and the Steelers in the wild card spot. So, yes, we do need some help, but most importantly, we cannot afford to lose a game. So this one is humongous. The Ravens are right there behind us. Technically, we're not out if we lose this game. Steelers play the Ravens and then finish with the Browns. So that's not looking too good for us. The Chiefs play the Broncos and the Chargers. So that's actually some nice matchups. They might lose both those games. And then the Chargers play the Browns and then the Chiefs. So it looks like the Chiefs could lose both games. The Steelers could lose a game there. So we do have an opportunity. We are dealing with some injuries. A lot of them actually. Matt Forte is out. Anun was out one more week. Knicks is out. Eric Decker has been out all season. Williams on defense. There's injuries as well. Williams is out and Thomas, but we have got to play better than we did the first time we played the Patriots. We played the Patriots a few weeks ago, got absolutely demolished by them. So we have got to bring our A game, and it is on the road as well. So here we go, first and ten. Trey with the ball first. It's going to be Brandon Marshall with the catch, and he is going to plow over the defender there. Picks up the first down, now second and six from the 41-yard line. It's an empty backfield. Trey looking downfield, and we are going to find a receiver. It's going to be Blau Powell out of the backfield. The starting running back now that Forte is out. Trey a perfect three for three to start this game. Now second and 12 from the 37. It's going to be a pass here. Trey looking downfield, and it is going to be a sack. We got to step up in the pocket there. Got to have better pocket awareness. Now third and 22 on the opening drive. Trey dropping back. Play action looking downfield. That's going to fall incomplete. And our first drive will come to an end. The Patriots will put a field goal on the board with their first time with the ball. So three to nothing game. First and 10, play action, Trey looking deep, and it's going to be deflected, and it's going to fall incomplete. Actually, I think Marshall had his hands on that one, but it is going to fall incomplete. So third and five now, looking to avoid the quick drive. It's Trey across the middle, and that's going to fall incomplete. Another receiver with his hands on the ball. Patriots respond with a touchdown, so it's now 10 to nothing. Here we somehow are going to complete this one to Devin Smith as he gets the first one out to the 39-yard line. Trey after the good start, now four of eight. As we're, uh, we're going downhill a little bit, also in the second quarter already. Second and 12. Now Trey looking to set up a pass here. He's going to get it away. And this one easily could have been intercepted. Fortunate that was not. So now third and 12 as it was the first game. It's tough here against his Patriots defense. Now going to go deep. And this one is going to be deflected. And it's going to fall incomplete. And again, not deflected. I think Marshall had his hands on it. So the wide receiver's just not getting the job done here. We get the ball back. The Patriots do not score, so still a 10-0 game, but four minutes to go in the second quarter. It's third and three here. As Marshall coming in motion, Trey going to drop back here, looking for a receiver. We're going to have Powell, but this one just out of reach of Powell's hands there. We have to give the ball back, and, of course, the Patriots score. Bishop Sankey with a touchdown. And as we head into halftime, we're losing 17 0. The Patriots get the ball first as well. So, their first possession of the third quarter, they are driving it down the field. We do get a stop, but they get a field goal. So, just like that, it is 20 0 here in the third quarter. It looks like this is a repeat of the first game we played them. Here's a nice pass. Actually, no, it wasn't. It was a nice pass, but a drop there from Smith as the wide receiver is not helping us in this game today. Powell will pick up the first down on third and two. Only 13 yards for him on four carries. Very, very hard to get the running game going here against the Patriots. Second and 10 now play action. Trey going to throw downfield. He's going to find Devin Smith. This time he's open, and he's got the first down to the 20-yard line. 173 yards passing for Trey. Now second and six. It's the handoff. It's going to be Pope. The rookie will get his first carry of the game. Picks up four yards on the carry. So now third and two. We got to pick this one up here, making a last-second adjustment. We're going to drop back, and we are going to have Mooney open, and he is going to drop the ball. Our fullback had a wide open catch there. Could have made that a touchdown, but instead we just get a field goal. Powell back with it here. The defense stepping up in this third quarter. They get another stop, so it's still a 20-3 game. Third and 11 here. We're going to get out to Marshall. Try to go with the quick throw, but he's going to get swallowed up a little bit too quickly there. Got to go for it on fourth down. I mean, we don't have to go for it, but I figure why not just go for it? We will convert. Brandon Marshall is going to make the catch at this point. You never know when the Patriots will put a touchdown on the board during Super Sim, so we got to take some chances here. Second and 11 now. Trey going to go in the middle of the field. It's Austin Safarian Jenkins with the first down as we're across the 50 to the 36. Now first and 10 from the 36. Last minute of the third quarter. Empty backfield. Trey dropping back. Hit as he throws. This one's going to be Knocked down, though, incomplete. 18 of 33 for Trey. Now second and six as we're under center here. We're throwing it, though. Quick step back. The throw, it's going to be Brandon Marshall. Turns it upfield, and he's going to get close to the first down. A couple yards short, though. So third and three as we begin the fourth quarter. Trey, the throw in this one. We do not have time to get rid of it. Should have gotten rid of it. I had the receiver coming across. I waited too long to throw it to him. 
We get another field goal. The defense again steps up and gets a stop. So it's 20 to 6 now as Trey going to convert that one. Gets it to Austin Safarian Jenkins now second and 10 from the 48. Trey, a lot of time to throw here. And this one's going to be complete. Safarian Jenkins again as he's down to the 33-yard line. We're moving the ball here in the second half, but we got to get some touchdowns. Trey now, I try to throw this one away. For some reason, it doesn't let me throw it away. Collins with a sack. So third and 18 now. we got to pick up some yards here. And it's going to be intercepted you gotta be kidding me right there we had the receiver but Harmon steals it away from him our first turnover of the game now Trey on first and 10 downfield it's deflected and you got to be kidding me another interception the stupid deflected interceptions we get screwed by it again but somehow miraculously the Patriots have not scored during any of this so it's still a 20 to 6 game and actually I didn't even mention it we had a turnover here we got the ball back short with the short field I believe it was an interception against Tom Brady and now we have the opportunity but we fail on third and ten so we get the turnover all we can do is turn it into three points so still no touchdowns on the board we get another stop against the Patriots in here that's a nice pass to the outside of Dwayne Bow from Trey now first and ten is we just have to really throw it as much as we can here in this fourth quarter Trey going downfield this one going to be knocked down incomplete but it doesn't even matter because holding call on Nick Mangold he's better than that he's got to be smarter than that we're backed up ten yards so first and 20 now from the 33 and look at this, it's a false start penalty. So five more yards backed up. We do get those yards back though. So here we go, third and seven, four minutes to go in the game. Trey has some times, we make the throw. It's Powell, but he is gonna be stopped short. And again, we gotta go for it here, fourth and two. Trey, the pump fake, looking downfield. We've got Powell, he's got the first down and the drive stays alive. We are still in this game, second and one from the 36 yard line. Trey, everybody going deep, we're throwing it downfield. Marshall makes the catch. I don't know how, and he's fighting to stay up, but he is gonna be taken down finally at the 17. Trey, 356 yards passing. We're going no huddle here, third and eight. Trey looking for the end zone. It's going to be Jenkins. He can't make the catch. Another drop. We get the field goal. And again, the defense gets a stop. So a minute to go. It's an eight-point game. We have a chance to tie this up. Bostic in the middle of the field makes the catch out to the 36. Trey approaching 400 yards passing. Third and six, though, now 45 seconds to go. Trey looking downfield. We've got a receiver right there underneath. It's Austin Safarian Jenkins, and he will get out of bounds, and that is going to be at the 40-yard line. So now from the 40, first and 10, Trey, a lot of time to throw. We're going deep. It's going to be Brandon Marshall. He makes the catch, and he's down inside the 15 to the 11, 13 seconds remaining. We have one timeout as well. Third and nine, though, we need a first down. And this one, Marshall the catch, but he's short of the first down. So fourth and one. This is your ball game here. Trey looking. We have Safarian Jenkins. He should have the end zone. Is he going to get in? No, he's not, and we lose the game on that play. I will show you in a second the replay of how close that was, but first the stats, Trey, 37 of 67. We threw the ball 67 times. We had no running game, 435, no touchdowns, two interceptions. Tom Brady, 19 for 29, 227 yards, two touchdowns, and the one interception. The running game non-existent for us absolutely Sankey goes 19 for 56 James White 11 for 47 Brady 5 for 17 Powell 8 for 14 1.7 yards per carry that's why we threw it so much and now the receivers Brandon Marshall 13 for 131 Safarian Jenkins 7 for 99 Smith 6 for 89 Edelman 5 for 83 to lead the Patriots Bostic 4 for 55 Sankey 44 Amendola 33 and a touchdown Dwayne Bow 2 for 32 but look at how close this was all he had to do was stick his arm out, and we would have had a touchdown and a possible opportunity to tie the game. But instead, that is basically where our season ends. We do technically still have a shot at the playoffs. We will take a look before the next game at what happened with the Steelers and the Chiefs. It is definitely a super long shot that we make the playoffs, but I think we might still have an outside shot. But obviously, this game was humongous. If we could have won this one, it would have been huge for us. But ultimately, we just could not get the job done. And as it's kind of been the last few weeks of the season, injuries have really caught up with us. The injuries to the wide receivers, Matt Forte being out, has really killed this offense. I think we've been forced to throw the ball way too much. The defense actually did play good in the second half, even though they've been kind of killed by some injuries as well. Looks like Gilchrist got hurt as well in this game. So we'll see who's available for us in Week 17. We absolutely must win in Week 17, though. So you'll see that game against the Bills in the next episode. That is it for this one, though. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and give it a like. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe to see any future videos that I make. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.